All right, section 1.2 is factors and factor operators. So I'm going to be talking through these, and you can take the notes or just pause the video to, to write the rest of the notes. But um, first of all, factors are the most basic component of mathematics. They're basically like the letters in the alphabet. So they make up every word. The words make up sentences. So it's where we start. Factors are parts of multiplication. And this is kind of why um, in school, you couldn't learn about factors first because multiplication comes after addition. But now that we know um, what multiplication is and so on, we can start understanding how mathematics is put together. So factors form terms and terms form expressions. So any part of multiplication signifies a new factor. So I have to be able to recognize multiplications and then we're going to use parentheses to represent factors. So what I mean by that is if I look at this term, um, notice this is just 5. And then if it's 5x, I know it's multiplication. So this is actually one term. The factors of this term, the factors of this term would be the parts of multiplication. So 5 would be one of the factors. So I'm going to use a parenthesis and then another parenthesis for x. So when I look at factors, I want to use parentheses to represent them and work with them to keep consistent with working with that component. So in mathematics, I'm going to, when I'm working with factors, I'm always going to use parentheses to separate them. All right, so the idea is the factors are the most important piece, component of mathematics, and I want us to be able to find all the factors in a number. So the key to this is to be able to find all factors of a number. And in order for us to do this, the first thing we need to do is just understand um, what types of numbers there, there are in terms of factors. So prime numbers, um, prime numbers only have factors of one in itself. So the number one itself is generated as not a prime number. So the list starts with the number two. So the only integers that I can multiply together to get two are just, or the only uh, whole numbers are one and two. Three is the next prime number, but four is not prime. So four is actually the same as two times two. So it has other factors. So four is not prime, but five is. Um, actually, there's no even factors other than two, right? So there's, there can't be any more even because if even, I know two will go into it. So two, three, five, seven, um, eight, nine. Nine is not because that's three times three. 11 is prime, 13 is prime, 17 is the next prime, 19. How about 21? That's an odd number, but 21 is three times seven. So three times seven, um, those are other factors. So 21 is not prime, um, but 23, you know, try and continue this list um, and see how many prime numbers you can get. Um, the list is actually infinite, but a composite number then is not prime. So um, a composite number is just a number that is not prime. So four was the first composite number that we ran into. Um, it's not prime because two times two is four. Um, six, eight, nine, of course, basically everything that's not prime. So how do we find the factors of a number? And we use a factor tree to find the prime factorization of a number. So again, our goal is to be able to find all factors of a number. So we're going to start out with finding prime factors first. So this factor tree is nice. What we do is we, we start with a number like 25 and factor it. Try and find a multiplication that gives me 45. Um, so 5 times 9 gives me 45. Now, the factors that are prime, 5 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that. But 9 is not prime. 
I can continue to factor 9 into 3 times 3. And 3 and 3 are both prime. There's no other factors, so I'm going to circle those. So what we did is we got 45, the number 45, being equal to the prime factors 3 times 3 times 5. And if you multiply those terms together, you get 45. So this is the prime factorization of 45. Um, so let's say we write the prime factors of 60. So if we start with 60, and just think of any two factors that give me 60, what do I multiply together to get 60? And maybe the first one, because it ends in a zero, it would be 6 times 10. Now, 6 and 10 are both composite numbers, meaning I can factor these further. 6 I can factor into 2 times 3. Now, 2 and 3 are both prime numbers, so I'm going to circle those. 10 I can factor into 2 times 5. So, again, those are both prime numbers. So I'm going to circle those, and I'm done. So 60 is equal to, and I'm just going to put them in order, but it'd be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So the reason why they call this a factor tree, it's kind of weird. Um, if you look at it, it doesn't really look like a tree, but if you think of the, the ground line being here, um, the tree, this is actually the trunk of the tree or the tree that's out of the dirt. And these are the roots of the tree and the roots spread out underground. And that's actually another word that we use for factors, are roots of a number. So the prime factors are our roots. So in the next video, I'm going to come back and show you how to find common factors. And in the next case, it's greatest common factors.